Welcome to Daily Reading the Word for November the 28th. I'm Jonathan Kinsler. Today's scripture reading is found in Daniel chapter 1 and 1 Peter chapter 5. The title of my devotional is Devoted or Defiled. And we're going to be looking at Daniel 1 verse 9 which says, Now God granted Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the commander of the officials. Daniel and his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, sought to do God's will by not defiling themselves with the king's food and drink. Now, we might wonder what would have been defiling about about these things. Well, there are a few reasons um, why they could have defiled them. First of all, it may violate the food laws of clean and unclean. Leviticus chapter 11 verses 1 through 47 lays out uh, many of these laws. Um, And it could be that they were being asked to, or the food that was presented to them to eat and drink would have been unclean. Secondly, the meat may have had blood in it. And that violates a number of commands from Genesis 9 verse 4, Leviticus 17 verses 10 to 13, and even in Deuteronomy, there's 12, 23 to 24. Very possible um, there was blood in the meat. How, although this would have only dealt with the meat, there's other food um, and, and drink that is included in this that would not um, that, that, that this would not cover. Thirdly, it may have been involved in the worship of idols. And here we see this in, for example, Exodus 34, 15, um, in terms of the, the food that was uh, eating of the sacrifice to God is condemned when the Israelites did this. Deuteronomy 32, 38 says, Who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offering? And so this would include both the food and the drink. Um, also in the New Testament, we see this in a number of places. Acts 15, 29, for example, the Jerusalem Council says to the, to the Gentile believers that they are to abstain from things sacrificed to idols and from blood and from things strangled and from fornication. If you keep yourself free from such things, you will do well. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 8 to 10 in particular deal with the matter of food or meat sacrificed to idols. So while all three of these options that I've given in terms of clean and unclean food, meat um, meat that has blood in it, and the idea of it's involved in the worship of idolatry, all of them are possible. It's the idolatry option that is is most likely, and it's probably the key. Both the meat and wine were likely first offered to the Babylonian gods before being sent to the king, and therefore it was associated with idolatrous worship. This, conf- this conflict results in three events. Daniel and his friends refuse to defile themselves. And we see that in Daniel 1.8. God grants them favor and compassion on the sight of unbelievers. Daniel 1 verse 9, for example, it says that God granted Daniel favor and compassion on the sight of the commander of the officials. And lastly, obedience to God results in a better appearance than the youth who had been eating the king's choice food. So these Old Testament believers made a choice to be faithful to God rather than man. The Corinthian believers were similarly admonished not to participate in idolatry by eating meat sacrificed to idols. 1 Corinthians 8 to 10, all three of those chapters deal with this issue. Um, And chapter 10, 25 to 28 deals with our response when um, we're asked to eat this with, with others, knowing that it's It's been sacrificed to idols. This issue is still relevant for Christians today, not where the focus is on food so much. Mark 7, 18 to 23 there, Jesus declares all food as clean, but rather that we don't allow any form of idolatry to take God's rightful place. And that seems to be Paul's main concern in 1 Corinthians, that we dedicate and show ourselves to be devoted to the Lord alone. 1 John 5.21 also reminds the believers, ends off his letter with, keep yourself from idols. And he's not likely talking about physical idolatry, but spiritual idolatry. So do we have any idols in our hearts that are defiling us and separating us from God? That could be decisions that we're making that God isn't pleased with. Could be that we haven't devoted all of our lives, everything that we are to God. Anything that takes God's rightful place, um, that in terms of we're withholding what belongs to um, to God, that we would be giving that to others. That is idolatry. Do our actions convey our worship of the living God also 
to others. That should be a concern of ours as well. It's a concern of the book of Daniel, and it's always something that God is um, is wanting us to um, to observe. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word regarding Daniel and his three friends. The Lord, we can also follow their example and flee from idolatry, have nothing to do with it. Take a stand even in the worship of our God and the way we are act toward others. Let us have nothing to do with idolatry and idolatrous things. That, Lord, we're dedicated and devoted to you above all else. And it makes a difference in what we eat, what we drink. It makes a difference in where we go and what we do, um, what we spend our time with. What do we allow ourselves to watch? Um, and so, Lord, help us to be holy, dedicated to you in all that we, in all that we do and, and say. In your name we pray. Amen.